right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, the inimitable Khabib Nurmagomedov, and this guy makes his way to the Octagon DC. You run out of time setting up everything he's accomplished, but he always puts that status as an undefeated fighter and UFC champion on the line. He will do so again here tonight. The moment he walked in the AKA, you understood that there was something special about Nurmagomedov. He was a guy that was always listening, although he spoke no English. He was always listening and paying attention to try to learn and how to improve himself in the moment. He stepped foot in the gym. He was just open to each and every lesson, and now it's showing over the course of his UFC career. He was undefeated going into the UFC, and he has only built on that and become a champion, one of the most well-rounded fighters in all of the UFC. You know, your college wrestling teammates have told me when you showed up at Oklahoma State, you didn't speak English either. No, I didn't. It was all, <laughs> it was all Southern Creole accent. It was all... It was all, hey, my boy. <laughs> right. Well, your English is now very proper, and so is Khabib's, and he's back on the proven ground here tonight, again trying to prove himself as one of the pound-for-pound -pound greatest fighters on this UFC roster. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, here. And now introducing his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Imago Meda! All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out for They touch him up, man. We are underway. You ready? Yeah. Are you ready? All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice land there by Nermago Man. I mean, he made his UFC debut in 2012. He wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. And that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, 
John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Going to the body there with the right kick. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Big elbow! He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. What a punch. What a body kick. Another shot lands upstairs. And they separate. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches in your head. Back and forth we go here. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. And they separate. Nice slip and counter there by Mirago Meadow. Oh, collar tie. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, big knee. Now a knee. Man. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh, in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Big punch lands. Ooh. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Right punches there. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Oh, nice. Nice. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful punch. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Well, you saw his reference at the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Nice punch by Nermago Medov. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off him by blocking all these attacks. 20 seconds to go in round one. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder round. Horn sounds for the end of round one. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that hard or get pushed. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. 
I mean, he's cut them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, he engages in a single collar tie. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh, and potentially a critical takedown here. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And mixing it up beautiful. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, nice punch there by Nermago Meta. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's gotta be confident that it's going to land, and he's gotta really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big kick lands. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. Winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Kick to the body by Nurmago Medov. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight, lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Strong punch there by Nermago Meadow. All right, single collar tie now. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early and he lands off. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Ooh, blocks the shot. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Single collar tie now. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Seconds winding down in round two. Oh, misses with the jab. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face 
pump their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Position for the opponent. Oh, good job defensively to block the strike there by Nermago Meta. Right hand punch to the Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Takedown defense holds up. And there comes the separation now. Checks that leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. Landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Yep, and then over the top. Well, busy night for the stats producer. 129 total strikes and now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And landing with just 39% accuracy tonight against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He's determined to land as many leg kicks as he can in this fight. Good punch lands. Just over two minutes now to go. What a tricky head kick. Misses with the straight right. Ooh, what a head kick. Straight punch lands. Oh, that's a good right hand. Marco Medov's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. to gas out. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Real nice body kick land. I need you to get that 20 seconds left. 
punch over the top. Oh, nice. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and uh, stop him from landing these over and over. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. And they separate. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. He is throwing his entire hip into the oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Nice leg kick land. Back and forth we go. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, needed the hit. Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level, he jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go. Getting tighter. Right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, transitioning to the arm submission now. Oh, nice. He might get a finish here. Oh, now he's in trouble. Submission beautifully executed there on the ground. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 27 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out, Habib the Eagle. Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks...